Hey, what's going on, everybody? Brady here with another Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. The first thing I want to talk about today is the guild hack or exploit or whatever you want to call it. So certain guilds, including mine, had a member that scored very, very high on guild boss, ridiculously high. I think in my guild it was like 40-something thousand from one member. Even though that member is not currently in my guild anymore, or my knighthood, my score is still at 93,693, which is really, really high. If you can see here, there are no members here with ridiculously high scores. Everything is pretty normal. Last week's rank, my guild has been fighting for top 10 place ever since 7 Daily since Grand Cross Global came out. And we have been finishing in the top 10. And I want to do this legitimately. I am not okay with this. That's why the member was removed. So for those people who had questions on Twitch. Or they still have questions about it. Hopefully this will answer them. I would definitely like to be number 1 or top 5. Or as high as we can get. But I want to do so legitimately. So I'm definitely not okay with my guild doing it. Or anybody else's guild doing it. And I hope that Netmarble fixes it. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys how to do the guild boss pretty easily with Red Gauther. He definitely takes out some of the RNG in the fight because you can rank up cards without actually having to get multiple copies of that card. Now where are my friend Arma Supreme's account here? He's in my guild. And the reason why I'm going to do guild boss for him is because he's a little bit short on time and he wanted to get a higher score and he normally does get a higher score. So in order to do so, I'm going to go ahead and do it for him. So let's go ahead in here and let's do the hard. That's kind of where we want to get the higher score. This is going to be our team. We have our Jericho. She's going to nuke the boss. We have Gustav who's going to freeze. Red Gauta to rank up and Guild Thunder to attack up. We're also going to go ahead and eat crit damage food. Okay. Auto eat. Alright, let's go ahead and start it up. So this is definitely not the way to get the highest score possible. If you want to get the highest score possible, you probably run Hellbrand instead of Gother. But since we're trying to do this somewhat quickly, because I also don't have that much time to just try to fight with the RNG, we're running Gother so we can rank up the cards. Now, we're also running Gustav instead of Red Merlin, because his passive allows him to lower the enemy's resistance by the amount of pierce rate he has. So you give him some pierce rate and he will lower the boss's resistance. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use the Jericho cards, the Gustav card, and Guilt on the card. Now we have to kill him before he ults. That's where the RNG is going to come in because we don't have any heals or support to keep us alive. We need to get a Jericho cards on the second turn here, so that way we can have her ult on the third turn, so that way we can kill him before he ults. The reason for that is, if he ults, he's going to kill us, because we don't have any support. Okay, so here, we can go ahead and move the Gustav card. We can use Guild Thunder. Actually, no. Let's move the Gustav card. And then move this over. Move it over. And use it. Okay. So here we're only going to get... Ray 3 Freeze, level 1... Guilt on their buff. 
and then we'll ulti. So we'll rank this up. Back up, freeze, and ulti. Now if she crits, she didn't crit. Alright, so same thing. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, um, that can actually work. Can actually work if we get a crit. Alright, we'll do this. And then we'll shuffle this twice so that way she gets her ult next turn. Now, if we can get a freeze card here and a little combine, we can get a level 3 buff. We didn't get it. Let's go ahead and make this a level 3 freeze, buff, freeze, and Jericho. There we go. 1.5 mil hit. easy thousand score if you're scoring 1100 or both of the bosses you're doing really well for your guild that's <clears throat> over 2200 points just on just on guild boss alone and then the donations you're going to do really really well for your guild or knighthood Just one more time, you can go ahead and check out the party. He doesn't even have crazy pierce rate. I'll go ahead and show Gustav's gear. I think it's like 70% that we have on him. And then Jericho is the important one. Everyone else just needs health to survive. So if you have health defense sets, go ahead and use them. And then Jericho's gear. We have 8,600 attack, 40 crit chance, 272 crit with the 20% 20 20 crit damage food. We were at 292 there. So, not bad at all. If you can get a level 3 guilt on their buff, it's going to be much more damage. So, you're going to get a higher score. But, this is a pretty easy way of doing it because it doesn't take that many attempts. And, it's also not very long into the battle. If by third turn you don't get it, you just forfeit, retry again. And like I said, I think it took me like five or six tries to do this. So, not bad at all. I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Please leave a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.